Good afternoon. We will call the regular meeting of the Knoll and Planning Commission to order. It is Thursday, April 26, 2018, 4.30 p.m. Item 1 on the agenda would be to approve the minutes of the March 29th meeting. So moved. Second. Got a motion and a second uh, approving the minutes as presented. Any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Item 2 is a public hearing. Um, uh, a, consider the application of Randy Alfred requesting a variance to permit <coughs> to permit the construction of a garage with a height of 20 feet 9 inches on property zone R1, single family residence district, and legally described as part of lot A of the northwest quarter of the northwest quarter of section 4, township 109 north, range 30 west, Address 1328 Settler Trail. This is a public hearing. All right, as in your packet, you can see that uh, the property is located at 1328 Settler Trail. Um, it's out on the, out by uh, Dakota West Edition out there. Um, the applicant is looking to um, construct a garage out there, 1,000 square feet, um, or just shy of 1,000 square feet. And the 20 foot 9 inch request is coming in so he could match the roof line of his house that he just built out there two years ago. Um, as you can see, there's been a couple other variances granted of 25 feet in 2001 and one in 2005 for 24 feet for the same, same reasoning if you wanted to follow the roof line. Okay, this is a public hearing. Anybody wish to speak on the matter for or against? Now would be the time to speak up. Anyone? Anyone wish to speak? If not, I just have one question. Is there a, a difference in the regulation for the height of the house and the garage? I mean, why? Um, when he built the house, was it the same requirement of that height? No, the house can be up to 35 feet, okay. two and a half stories. Okay. Yep. I'd like to just add, I met with Randy a couple months ago and he was uh, proposing this and he went in and met with Elwood and, and he wanted to show me, you know, because I was on the zoning commission and I see his view and I asked him to get some architectural drawings, which he's got in the packet here. And he just didn't want us to have a standard four, would it be 412 pitch? Correct. Yeah, that's Elwood, and he's got an 812 roof pitch. It's a much steeper roof, and if you, I think if everybody looks around with more of the architectural, the styling of homes, they have more roof lines now, and that's what he was trying to do. There's nothing with the neighbors uh, hindering any there. there. There's a bank at lot adjoining the one in his property there, but uh, he's just trying to make an architectural statement to match up with this existing property that he built last year. Anyone else? One question, is this on the same lot as the house or is this on a different lot adjacent to it? No, it's on the same lot. It's on the same, okay. Yep. It's just, he's, it's a narrow. It's a narrow long lot, yes. Yep. Anyone else? If not, a motion to approve or deny would be in. I'd make a motion to approve the variance for Randy Alford at 1328 Settlers, Dry Settlers Trail. I'll second. Okay, we have a motion and a second approving the request as presented. Any other discussion? All in favor, aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. For anyone here, this will go to the city council next Tuesday. Yes, correct. Yep. So May first. Item B, also a public heater hearing. Excuse me. Consider the application of Dolly. Help me with this name. Beauregard and Robert Van Zyl requesting a conditional use permit to allow the location of a tattoo business on property zone B three, general business district and legally described as Lot 2, Block 69, north of Center Street, street address 307, North Minnesota Street. 
again, this is a public hearing, so anybody wishes to speak pro or con, this is the time to bring it up. Okay, why don't we do the staff uh, report All first, right, and ahead. then we'll uh, receive uh, public testimony. Uh, notice of this request has been uh, sent to all property owners within 350 feet of the subject property. Property is located north of 3rd North Street and west of North Minnesota Street. The site is the current location of a building that transitions from two stories at the street to a one story at its rear. A garage and surface parking is located at the rear of the property. Property to the east, north, and south is zoned B3 and to the west R3, which is a multiple family residence district. Properties to the northeast and south are occupied by commercial and service businesses. The Broadway House Apartments is located west of the property. Building was constructed in 1941 and has 2,592 square feet on the first floor and 1,458 square feet on the second floor. The front part of the first floor is used for commercial purposes and the rear part has one apartment unit. The second floor has two apartment units. The lot dimensions are 50 by 165. Total lot area is 8,250 square feet. A tattoo business is not listed as a permitted use in the B3 zoning district. I might also note at this point in time that um, in state statute, um, tattoo, uh, that word is, um, it, they also use the term body art. So th those two terms are kind of interchangeable. Uses allowed in the B3 district with a conditional use permit include other general business activities of the same general character as listed in subdivision two of this section. Subdivision two is the permitted use section of, uh, of the zoning ordinance. In order to recommend approval of the permit, the commission will need to determine that the request complies with the conditions required for the granting of a conditional use permit. Those are found in section 9.82, subdivision two. The reverse side of the application lists the seven conditions and the applicant's response to them. An eighth question asked, why should the city approve your request? The applicant's response was, ability to bring education, high health standards, and another business to the central district of New Ulm. The city has not issued a similar permit in the past. Attached is a copy of the application, a zoning map showing the location of the property, uh, the permitted uses in the B3 zoning district, an aerial photograph of the property, and then two ground level photographs of the property, one from the front of the building and the other from the rear of the building. And the photo from the rear of the building where you see that big pile of snow, that's where the surface parking uh, is located. Recommendation. Staff would recommend approval of the request with the following conditions. Number one, the applicant will pay the cost to record the permit with the Brown County Recorder's Office. Two, the applicant will comply with all appropriate regulations of any governmental entity having jurisdiction over tattoo businesses and will secure all necessary permits or licenses to operate a tattoo business. Three, the applicant will provide the City of New Ulm with copies of all required permits or licenses necessary to operate a tattoo business. The staff would make this recommendation for the following reasons. Number one, the request complies with the conditions required for the granting of a conditional use permit. Again, that's section 9.82 of the city code. And two, uh, the B3 zone includes a variety of personal service businesses as permitted uses. These include barber and beauty shops, clinics, physical culture and health clubs, gyms, phot photographer studios, music studios, and artist studios. A nail salon and tanning facilities uh, would also be located in this zoning district. A tattoo business would be a similar type of personal service use. Uh, item 10 is potential motions. 
There is a motion to recommend approval and there is a motion to deny approval of the application. That concludes the staff report. Okay. Anyone in the audience who wish to speak on this? Again, pro or con, please step to the microphone and state your name. And to come to the microphone, state your name and address. And Sorry, Tammy Lerma, 332 North Park Avenue, Springfield. Um, I think it's a good idea for two reasons. Obviously for business, bring more business to New Ulm. It's a, it's a growing, popular, you know, you can so, some people say trend, but it is growing widely throughout the whole United States. Second, health reasons. I mean, people are going to do it regardless, so why not have a shop where it's healthy, you know, everything's up to code, instead of, per se, going to someone's garage and doing it, risking, you know, infections and stuff like that. So health reasons would be the my personal reason why I would love to have a tattoo shop here. Okay, thank you. So that's me, thank you. Anyone else? Um, my name is Dolly, and I'm the one proposing the conditional use permit. Um, I just wanted to add that I would like to make New Ulm my home, and I've lived here for almost six or seven years, and I raised both my kids here and they like it. And the business that I'm in currently um, is actually a very hard industry to get into. In the state of Minnesota, you need a full licensing, which also requires an entrepreneurship that I had to take locally over in St. Peter, and that was the nearest place I could get to. Um, if we did this, I just asked the committee, maybe centralize it to have this one shop come in. I'm also slightly concerned that potentially other businesses will come in or multiple tattoo shops will kind of dilute the quality of the work. What I propose that I do in my shop is education and health standards always are first. And eventually I'm thinking of doing some sort of tattoo removal services for the area as well. I want um, people to have the ability to get tattoos, but also to have the ability to take away tattoos they've done in the past. I want that to be open to everybody. I don't I want to educate people the proper way in, in a way that's enjoyable and that's kind of fitting to this whole community. And I want to offer services that give people a good idea and I want to re represent the tattoo industry in New Ulm with my services. And that's all I want to say. Okay, question. Are you currently in business? Um, I'm currently not. I finished my um, app apprenticeship last year in March. Okay. So. So far, this is kind of the big day for me. Thank you. Yep. Anyone else? <coughs> I'm Bob Benzial, and I'm the owner of the building, and I fully support what she's trying to do for the reasons that she says that she wants to do it. And I also think that it's one less building downtown that is a vacant storefront. and. Uh, I think that anything that generates good business traffic uh, is a benefit to the downtown area. And I know that tattoo shops may have some kind of a stigma for some people. Uh, how she has described the way she wants to run her business and the fact that she is not somebody that just is s starting up with no education, no background, or no, uh, no training. Uh, she, she does have the education, the background, and training, and she's very well spoken, and I believe that she wants to achieve what she, wants, what she says she will do. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Well, I have a couple of uh, questions for the owner, if you maybe step back up to the microphones. Um, <clears throat> first of all, I don't have any qualms about having a tattoo shop, okay? My questions are more along the lines of if we approve this, the recommendation is that you're in compliance with all regulatory, whether it be state or federal regulations. Are you familiar with all of that? And are you you're ready to comply with all of that? Y yes, I am. Um, currently, I'm a licensed tattoo art artist registered on the state of Minnesota Health Department registry. It is also outlined in my business plan. Um, 
I had to first get an, a temporary license and then it transitioned to, to a full licensing. I also have um, a checklist and an agenda with the state of Minnesota. The Minnesota Department of Health has their own standards of operations um, when you're opening up a business in a shop, including how I sanitize my tools and equipment, how I get rid of my waste. There is an inspection and a spore test that needs to be taken place. And all of those businesses that um, are inspected by the state are also on an online registry that you can find on the Minnesota Department of Government. So. <coughs> I would, unless you want to jump in, I would just like to walk through. There's three uh, suggested requirements to, for the approval. I just want to make sure that you understand and we agree, all agree on the same thing. And the first one, the applicant would pay the cost of the regular permit to the Brown County. Do you understand that? Yes, I do. Okay. And the applicant will comply with all appropriate regulations, which you just said you would be able to? Yes, sir. Correct? And the applicant provide the city of New Orleans with copies of all required permits and licenses? Yes, they are also public. So Very good, very good. It sounds like a good plan together. Okay. Anyone I else? I might note that, um, you know, state statute um, establishes a procedure for approval of um, licensing for this type of business, and it's 15 pages. So I, it's fairly thoroughly uh, covered. So we're not adding anything to the city inspection process in this at all, correct? No. Any Anyone else wish to speak? Go ahead. Hi, my name is Tony Martinez. Um, I'm just here for as a supporter, uh, I've seen a lot of Dolly's work, and she does quality work, and I, I truly believe tattoos are one of the biggest ways of self-expression, you know. I um, personally believe you can really tell your, your own story and show it to the world, and I don't think anything's wrong with that. <coughs> it's the best way to share, okay. share your story. So that's all I have to say. Thank you, guys. Thank you. My name's Dustin and I live at 1314 North German Street and um, she is my, Dolly is my fiance and I guess I've been behind her this entire time. I, she's worked extremely hard at what she, where she's come today and her dedication is 100%. She has not ever given up on this dream. She has fulfilled everything that she's wanted to do so far. She's like she said. She was she got her license, and that she was extremely grateful for. Her and and she is very loyal to following the recommendations that she has to follow, the guidelines that she has to follow, so she doesn't get in trouble and can co and continue to obtain her license. So I think it'd be very good, and and she's doing very well. So thank you. Anyone else? My name is Tim Schrader, and I'm downtown every day. And I see the businesses slowly just leaving, going. And I think this would be a really good opportunity for uh, New Ulm in general, but for Dolly to, to start something innovative. We haven't had one. Um, we have a vape shop and a smoke shop, and I didn't think that would ever happen in New Ulm. So, uh, yeah, I think this would be a really good idea for boosting our economy. Yeah, that's all I got to say. Thank you. Anyone else? Hearing none. I uh, think we're anything else from I got here? one question for staff. So letters were sent out to neighbors on this issue, or were not? Yeah. Any notice, notice goes out to all property owners and any within comments? 350. No, we okay. have none. Thank you. Okay, anything else? If not, a motion would be in order to approve or deny. I'd move to approve the request as uh, submitted. 
I'll second. Okay, we have a motion and a <coughs> second approving the request as presented. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Now this will go to the <laughs> city council on Tuesday evening, uh, 4.30 I believe their meeting is the same time. Correct. You should probably be at that meeting also, okay? Good luck in your business. Hope Best it works out. Luck. Best of luck. luck. Can I do either? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can either way. You, know. you can either stay or leave. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We shall move on. Item three. Received a report from City Council decision concerning planning commission matters from April. Okay. At the uh, Council's April 3rd meeting, they approved the issuance of a conditional use permit to Brent Donner, president of um, DLC Manufacturing and Fabrication <laughs> Incorporated to locate a metal fabrication business on property zoned I-1, which is a planned industrial district at 20 Sampson Street. They also approved the application of Sean Gremmels for a variance to construct a garage five feet from the north property line at 201 North Jefferson Street. The required setback is 10 feet. At the um, April 17th meeting, they conducted the first reading of an ordinance relative to private residential swimming pools. If you want to know more about that, um, the building official is um, very willing to provide input on that. Um, secondly, they um, authorize the submittal of a supplemental grant application to the state of Minnesota to pay for costs associated with the remediation of the uh, city center apartment site at 115 South Minnesota Street. Um, the city had previously received the grant to do that remediation work and the cost of the remediation exceeded what was budgeted. So that's why we're um, submitting a supplemental application. That concludes my report. Okay, anything on heritage preservation? Uh, we did not have any items for a meeting and still just continuing with the uh, um, downtown design guidelines um, update and the Herman Monument, as Monument assessment is getting uh, start kickoff meeting is next Tuesday, May 1st with the architectural firm. We'll get going on that. That's it. Okay, anything from commission? Well, I'd just like to say thank you for taking care of anything while I was gone and missing or whatever. Maybe you didn't notice I was gone, but anyhow, thank really you for your efforts. <laughs> <and> <laughs> No further business, meeting will be adjourned. <laughs>